Utes unregistered. He's taken his hat off. You must think this is serious. In Altona, leading senior constable Sean Roth has just started his shift. Mate, the reason we just asked you to pull in, just check your registration. Uh, your car's got no register, mate. It's expired. I'm on my way to do it, mate. Seriously? I know. Oh, I've got all my papers here and everything. Really? I just got off the phone from the office. <coughs> I swear to God. And the only reason I, got it, I did it because my, sis, my missus took her car. It's an excuse Sean Roth hears an awful lot, but it's never actually the case. So today's the day you're booked in to do it? Today, yeah. Call him. I'm meant to be there at 9.30. He's on time. Could this be the exception that breaks the rule? All right. I'll be with you in a few minutes, all right? No dramas, no, mate. mate. No, it's pretty, pretty classy, because I told my sister I'd probably get caught on my way, so there you go, I did. <laughs> Most genuine bloke I've met in ages. I'm on the way, though, yeah? That's got to be good. <laughs> we hear that excuse uh, with people saying, yeah, I'm just on my way to register it uh, all the time. But today is actually... Fair dinkum, he's rigid itch. Mate, we'll get you going so you can hurry up and get it done, all right? Cheers, champ. Appreciate right. it. No worries, mate. Give you Catch you later. Thanks, bud. See ya. The lucky driver heads off in the direction of Vic Rhodes, and Sean Roth heads off in the direction of an urgent breakdown. A car is blocking traffic on a bridge. It could cause a serious accident at any moment. I see something up there. I see hazards flashing. The lollipop man has been directing traffic for the last five minutes. Now he wants Sean Roth to park closer. What's going on? Why don't you move it? Senior Constable Marcus Owen is quick to spot the obvious solution. But the lollipop man has other concerns. He's moved forward a bit so we can send the traffic around. No, because we're about to shift his car and get off the road, mate. It's a flat tyre, big deal. Move it. You're not staying here. Yeah. No good, Mark. Just, just oh, you move it or and go. sit down and write your ticket up for stopping. You yeah, can't be seriously. stopped on top of the bridge, mate. Well, what am I supposed to do with the, the trolley one? Just roll down the other side of the bridge and fix it down there, mate. No good here at all. OK, you're the boss. Hey. You stopped on top of the bridge, mate. No good at all. Yeah, I have you. Oh, mate, if someone had got uh, injured or hurt, you'd be liable for it. Well, these, these, these works Yeah, I don't care what they're doing, mate. These works are pretty good, actually. They, they help me out. Yeah. My yeah. job's to get this bridge open. But the white well, ute in front so has to be cleared out before the man right. can go anywhere. Is that your ute, mate? You can go. As soon as he gets off the bridge, we'll leave. Okay. Mate, that's our job. So. Go. You just get him off the bridge. Yeah, away you go. We need you to move so we can go. What we're going to do, you're going to move the ute, he's going to move his car. We're going to stop all of this traffic until you're down the bottom. So you guys are looking after the traffic now? That's what yep. we're doing, mate. We need to get him off yep. this bridge. So yep. this, this traffic can keep moving. Yep. All right, I'm just going to stop everything here until yep. the bridge is clear. As yep. soon as the bridge is clear, we'll let the traffic run again. No so you're, you're sweet, all right? Oh, my goodness. Now some common sense is coming into play. Marcus Owen may have spoken too soon. All right. They need to get the tyre fixed, but someone else is back and he might throw a spanner in the works. Chat, please, mate. Yeah. Um, sorry for the misunderstanding up there, buddy. Mm. Said, um, well, I've got a job to do, as yep. you know. I'm doing the same job you're doing, just making the roads safe. So, yep. you know, um... I didn't Point in time comes, though. If I say to clear, that's it. You don't have a choice. Yep. Um, at all. We're, we're trained just the same as you guys are trained. Oh, I've, actually, are. I've actually helped. I don't no know his name. No that. I've helped him out. And when there was a crash on this job before, mate. Yep. And we Again, stood no there. problem with that. Not a problem in the world with that. So but one... at the point in time when I say, let's go, it's not up for debate. I understand, but well, as I said, I was just trying to make the job safe. We've got responsibilities just like you guys do. Mm -hmm. um, communication up there would have been a bit better mm -hmm. on how we're going to attack this, not just let's go. You know, yeah, quite know, simply, know, it is. Let's happening. go. We'd already said hey, once, him, him to go. We once, need the ute moved. Yep. Time to move. Once we're um, on the traffic control, yep. emergency services we have to let through yep. if they've got their sirens on and, and so forth, yep. there's emergency. Yep. Um, at the time, I didn't think it was an emergency. I thought we had it covered. That's why I didn't un uh, listen to your instructions straight away. So, like I said, a bit more communication there. 
we would have been we would have been fine. Mm -hmm. As soon as um your mate started talking to me, I did it. Because the communication was there, you know what I mean? Do you know, do you know what I mean? Do you, know, do you know what I mean? I have a responsibility on the traffic control. So I understand you've got your job to do and all this, yep. but what I'm saying is, when we turn up, mate, that's it. You, you, yep. We tell him to go, he doesn't have an, op he had a, doesn't have an option. Yep, I right? understand. And at the point where I say to you guys, right, let's go, mm -hmm. so we can get this road cleared, same, same. Yeah, no All right, I want to get this road open. There's the last thing I want to do. If there's an accident, guess what? You know that bit where you said we're doing the same job? No, no. I'm the one responsible, mate. I'm any the... any accident on this road, yeah. my job, same not here. you. Nah, same here, mate. Yeah, I you're going to be the one yeah. in the coroner's court, say so, yeah? There's a chance if we if we don't have our safety measures and all our traffic management plans in place. I'm tipping yes, on I'm, first in line, mate, well, not I'm, you. I'm, I'm, I'm very close uh, I'm second. I'm saying, yeah, well, so we'll see. We're in the same boat here, I mate. I need him, like I say, anyone like that, off the road. So all right? if that happens again, which it has happened plenty of times before, yep. um, Ring you guys straight away. Yeah. And ask him, mate, just get it off the bridge. The message is simple. Senior Constable Marcus no. Owen has to repeat it. Get onto us straight away anyway, because in all chance, all likelihood, he's not going to listen to someone wearing the orange. Once we get up there, he's going to listen to someone wearing the blue uniform, mate. Right. All right? We'll leave it as that. Thank you. Sweet. Thanks, mate. Thanks for your help. We just need everyone to understand that when we roll up to a scene, uh, we take charge of it. And uh, our job is to make sure everyone's safe. And when we turn up, everyone else has got to pretty much do what they're told to do at that point in time. Now that we've got everyone off the bridge, everyone's safe, we've got no more traffic issues, and hopefully we get this guy on his way and get back to work. But there's a problem with the driver's wheel. He can't get it off. Come on, Super Sean. Sean Roth accepts the challenge. I suppose it helps before I join the uh, police force, so, uh, Family business was a tyre break and exhaust shop, so I've got a bit of experience in changing tyres. You haven't got an air compressor on the other finger, have you, Sean? Not easier. I'm looking at that. The whole sidewall's sort of come away from the casing. The casing's come yeah, away mate. from the sidewall. It's usually a good indication that tyres actually underinflated. When they're underinflated, there's a lot more flicks in them. So the sidewall along here heats up and the excess heat in the tyre just causes it to burst. You lose pressure really quickly and the tyre's a throw-out job. So far today, Sean Roth and Marcus Owen have done nothing but good turns for people. And right on cue, a reminder from earlier this morning drives by. <laughs> That's our man from this morning, his new Renta and his new licence. He's as pleased as punch about it too, I might add. Hey? How's that? I'm surprised you don't come round and show us. <laughs>